Question of the day. What is your strongest belief? Whoa. Whoa. And I, I guess I'll go first to give you guys time. To Whoa. Yeah, right? That's... So, I, I, I believe a lot of things, and I believe a lot of things strongly. But I'll do this. I, one of my strongest beliefs is every... There are no main characters in life. Everybody is designated a part to play by the universe. I don't believe in God, but by the universe. Everybody has a designated part to play, and they play that part. And my proof is, think of the main character. Cool. And when you hang out with your friends, you're a side character to them. Oh. Yeah. It's fucking blowing my mind here, son. Yeah. Holy shit. Look at Toe. Toe's like, my hair hurts. <laughs> so, so, like, I hang out with my, my boy. <laughs> I'm the fucking clown. I'm the guy who's going to say the dumbest shit to get everybody to laugh. I'm the guy who doesn't take anything serious. I'm not the, you know, I'm not the fucking alpha male. I'm not the leader. I'm not, I have a specific part to play. And on top of that, it goes level. When I'm with a different friend, when I'm with one friend, I have a role to play. When I'm with a different friend, I have a completely different role to play. And we go through life, not as main characters, but as role players. And you play your part, and then that's it. One day, rage out of the role on to whatever else is either afterlife or no afterlife or whatever and people remember you not for not truly for who you were but they actually remember you for the role you played in their life the better you do the better the memory like my mom my uncle my grandmother all past i remember i remember them as people of course but i remember more often so than not what they imparted on me, what why they were in my life, and what they did while they were in my life, the roles they played to shape the man I am. So that's my belief. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yo. Bart. My God. That is. Wow. Jesus. I did. I did think of one. And I don't know if this is a strong belief or me just kind of being contrarian. You know, I do that sometimes. <laughs> um, I've always had a problem with the with the phrase, you know, life is short. Um, I think whether you technically, right, whether you live five years or 55, it's the longest thing you'll do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so slow down, you know. There is time. Yeah, like yeah. tomorrow things could all go wrong and, you know, something bad may happen. But it's still the longest thing you're ever going to do, right? Like everything's going to be okay. Like even if something bad happens, you can, you can move on. And like tomorrow's another day. Like, yeah, like yeah. you can make it to 75. You can make it to five minutes. It's the longest thing you're ever going to do. So. Life is short in the sense of you might not do everything you want to do, but you have so much time. There's, you know, again, it's kind of like fantasy football, right? You have injury-prone players who you have to pick up in the first round. And, yeah, there's a big possibility that they may get injured. There's a big possibility that something may happen. You never know. But you still got to draft that player in the first round. You, you have to. You cannot say no to Christian McCaffrey. You cannot pass by Derrick Henry. You got to draft them. So whether you live to 100 or you live to 50, it's the longest thing you ever do from beginning to end. It's the longest thing you're ever going to do. So just take it easy. You know, just live day by day, 
Because the reality is, you got time. You know, we're all thirty plus here. You know I'm yeah, saying yeah. you, you, you guys have have an impactful loss in your life, and it's gonna sting forever. But sounds like she lived an incredible life to me, from what you yeah. tell me, and she left an incredible impression the people around her. So whether she didn't make it to the time where most people make it, she did it up. That's what it sounds like to me. She did it up. She lived every day. She lived every day knowing that, hey, she's going to be all right. We're going to be good. You know, raising kids in New York, that shit ain't easy. Sounds like she did it. Sounds like she did it with a smile on her face every day. Until you know y'all got her pissed and she had to throw something at y'all. You feel me? So it's like, let, let me tell you right now. Our Please. mom had a full life before we, my dad came around and then we were born. And then even after that, we had a full life with her. Yeah. So to Cap's point, you say life is short. Dead. You didn't make it to see grandkids or anything like that. But she lived two lifetimes worth of life. Yeah. yeah. You got you got time. It's going to be okay. You're going to get over that thing. You're going to get over that person. You're going to find a new job. You're going to find a new house. Obviously, that doesn't come easy. You got to put work and focus, of course. But you got time. Gary V is probably my biggest mentor at the moment. I don't know how to say his last name. But the the, huh. the 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 crypto e. wine the the crypto wine guy yeah. he says it all the time. Yeah. He's like, bro, you're 40 years old talking about time is ticking. Gary V has moves planned for when he's 70. Whether he makes it to 70 or not, this whole journey he's been on, it's the longest thing he's ever gonna do. It's gonna be all right, y'all. It's gonna be all right. That's that's one of my beliefs. Uh, hold up. I gotta. It's okay, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a fav- that's a favorite here. That's a favorite. Yeah. All right. So I guess my strongest belief is um, I ain't no bitch. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? That's the first thing that went through my head. My strongest belief. I'm my not emotional. Belief. Yeah. <laughs> my strongest belief is I ain't no bitch. No, but it, it, in all honesty, the one thing I do not, but I cannot wrap my head around is because it's the fad or it's the popular thing to do sure. that it's right. You know, like when everybody turned vegan, like, oh, it's healthy for you. Bullshit. Like, you know, like, oh, you need to work out, go to the gym, go to, you know, work out, lift weights and all that. Bullshit. You know, because the one thing that, that I've seen in my life is the biggest loser. The guy that trains these people to lose hundreds of pounds of weight had a massive heart attack, and he was in shape. I've seen bodybuilders have he's massive. Probably doing heart a lot attack. of co- he's probably doing a lot of cocaine though, no, for but, sure. You know, but, yeah. but the thing, but but being in shape never combated it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like no matter what the factors are, going to the gym and doing all this shit doesn't combat health. You know things they say all this shit, but it to me it doesn't really. There's no proof. When it comes to those things, because there's people that like they look at me and they go, "Oh, you're not healthy. Why not? Because I'm a hundred pounds over my weight that I'm supposed to be." Some doctor said my height needs to be with this weight. If that was the case, my bones would have collapsed already. You know what I'm saying? But then you have people that are skinny, eight pack abs. They can run for you know for a marathon. They have fatty livers. And their 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 intestines and all the other shit, all their insides is fucked they, up. They may have a weird metabolism, yeah. and yeah, yeah. And when I did research, there's two levels of fat. There's an outer layer of fat where you see, you know, it's visible, and then there's an inner layer of fat that goes around your organs. That's the dangerous fat, mm-hmm. right? And skinny people can develop that. It's not about the size of the person, or you know, the weight of the person. Also, I believe. That this whole, like, you need to take these supplements or you need to do these vitamins or going to the gym is stress relief and all that. No, that's all temporary shit. A supplement is something to supplement what you're doing normally. I honestly think that the best way for you to stay healthy 
is to have one of those lifestyles where you're not stressed all the time. Facts. Because, because the one thing that will kill you is stress. Facts. When, when they implant a new body part into you, when they, whether it's a liver or a kidney or a heart, they inject stress into the area to fight off the white blood cells so your body can accept the new organ. They do that. It, they, they're injecting stress into you. I believe you. You're a doctor. Yeah, yeah. I'm a fucking doctor. You work you know in the saying? hospital. So, you work in the hospital. You're a doctor. I don't care if you're cleaning yeah. or passing the mail. You're a yeah. doctor. You yeah. know things more than the average person because you have coworkers. Yeah, and you, and, got, you got a little cold. Hey, try this. I would rather listen to my coworker at a hospital than my coworker at the Burger King. <laughs> Say that right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, and it's it's also one of those things. It's like I don't believe the the fake it till you make it shit. Like all those sayings, everything that other people tell you to do, I think is bullshit. Just because somebody famous says, "Oh, if you do TikToks four times a day, you're gonna be big." Bullshit. If you stick with something long enough, it it works because it's it's the law of averages. But also, it's like I can't fake being happy, right? So the the way I think is more stressful is if I'm stressed and I'm trying to fake being happy. Because now there's two levels of stress. Now, I one, I'm neglecting what's stressing me. And two, I'm putting on this fake facade for other people. So now, now I'm, I'm just painting over graffiti. To be honest, taking... not, not, not to be fucked up, but that sounds like a, an equation, like a suicidal equation, in my opinion. Yeah. No, know? no, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, this, like the, the whole vegan stuff and, and everybody's like, oh, you got to drink water, this, that, and the third. It's like... I've seen no no listen it it, it you call whatever me life, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. whatever lifestyle you want to have you do it because I've seen this one dude he played paddle ball he was 75 years old he was jacked he beat the living shit out of me and Victor and me and Cap two on one this was years ago this is when we was in our team in paddle ball he beat the 75 years old my man told us he eats whatever the fuck he wants and he smokes yep. two packs of cigarettes a day. Yep. yep. Meanwhile, my uncle, Arati, he's stronger than me. He was in better shape. He could run faster than me. Like, if me and him stacked up, we put the numbers up, he beat me in everything. Massive heart attack. Guys. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, my, my grandfather, he would, you know, he used to drink a lot and all that other shit, lived until he was 80. So, you know, it's, it, it's like my uncle always said, you go when it's your time. So I'm not saying to be like fucking, you know, irresponsible. Careless. Yeah. Yes. But I also think that what works for you works for you. Yep. And I'm not going to allow someone to tell me how to do things. Like I looked up so many different ways to get this, this podcast more reach. And every single thing that they said, I'm like, that's bullshit. There's no fucking way that you did what you did and it popped off. You paid for this. I'm convinced everyone here is lying just so they could sell their own thing. Like I was, I was thinking on the way home. It was like if you know I start working out, I get in better shape. People are like, oh, why don't you teach people how to work out? I was like, I can't teach people how to work because that's all it is. Anything you want to do, you just got to put the work into it. Even if you do it wrong, doing it wrong beats not doing it. Facts. So now you're going to tell me that you did this simple trick and you, you lost 400 pounds. That's, it, don't, it don't work that way. It don't, it don't work that way. Like you can't just gain thousands of viewers overnight and followers off of one video. <clears throat> I know because I have multiple videos with thousands of views and maybe two subscribers from those thousands of views. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's like, you know, so to me, I think my biggest belief is Unless you're doing it yourself, what they're saying is bullshit. Um, I think um, I forget the line now, but 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 J well Jay Z said is you know everybody could tell you how to do it, they never did it. You know, yeah. like that's it's the truth. And you know, going back to the to the healthy thing, obviously, you know, you believe what you believe. You know, I believe that you got to do you know you got to do something, but yeah, don't oh, stress yeah. your life over it. There's people who have a almost almost sadistic routine to them where it's like, man, if, if you just had a cheeseburger once in a while, you'd be okay. Like, yeah, yeah you know, 
you know, I had I know a fr- I have a friend who has thyroid cancer. And, you know, obviously the word cancer, you know, freaks people out. Of course, oh, yeah. it's fuck cancer, right? But some cancers are more serious than others, right? Yeah. And my man just got thyroid cancer. Nowhere. Had thyroid cancer for a year and a half, two years. Didn't know what it was. Thought it was just coughing and <clears throat> and just, you know, thought it was finally went to checked out a few people. Some people were like, yo, you're fine. Finally went to the right person, was like, yo, you got thyroid cancer. And by the way, your thyroid is not in your thigh. It's right here. It's right here. Right here. So my dude goes, yo, like, I don't eat like garbage. I take care of myself. I don't smoke cigarettes, weed, none of that. I have smoked cigarettes from when I was like 14 years old. So like, there's been some on and off periods for sure. But up until like maybe two years ago, you know what I mean? That's a long time. And yeah. I don't have that. You know, I'm fine. You know, yeah. I, I the, the the video game podcast that I watch, this uh, my favorite video game journalist, his brother just found out he had cancer. Two weeks later, gone. Healthy. Don't eat no McDonald's, no bullshit. Constantly working out. Just boom, cancer. Done. Like what? And it's like, I'm not trying to say not to live your life healthy. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you can be as healthy as an ox. And when it's your time, it's your time. It, yep. just, it is what it is. People don't like hearing that, but it is what it is. Uh, it, that is what informed my on the part. Yeah. Part until you part. Yeah. I, um, I, uh, I had a, I had an ex from New York who told me the story about her grandma. Her grandma was in the Dominican Republic. Her grandmother used to smoke a pack of cigarettes a day and drink Hennessy all day long. This lady would fall asleep on her bed with her Hennessy so her for so the uncles and the nieces and nephews won't take a shit. She lived until about early 90s. You want to know what took her out? One day they were driving uh, in the campo, in the countryside, to go visit some old family members that still live that life, you know? And they had to go up a mountain in the car, and the elevation made her heart stop. Damn. Like, if she never took that trip, she's probably still drinking and smoking. Now, granted, I know people that have smoked, and there's effects. I was, I I know a girl from here in, in, in Florida that you know, her mother was like bad. Like her mother was like decaying. Like she was losing, you know, fingers. She was losing toes. And she just kept smoking. She just didn't care. And, but still homegirl made it to like 85. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you got these, and then that's another thing. You got a lot of these, you know, healthy folks. It's like, I'm not trying to get political here, but the whole vaccine thing is is crazy to me because it's like, you got a motherfucker, I'm not taking that vaccine, and then shoots up steroids. <laughs> like, like, what? Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. So it's like, I know people who take shortcuts to their health, and that's just as dangerous. Yep. I mean, like, you, you, the, you know, women, and men too, they'll get the, 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 gastric, the gastric bypass or whatever they call that shit. They work out for three months. They get the the surgery. Motherfuckers lost 50 pounds in a year. They look great. You don't know what happened. But you're risking your life in that fucking operation. Like, yeah. he, you, the same risk someone takes eating McDonald's every day, you take that risk sitting on that table. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, well, a lot of people come out of this just fine. Well, yeah, a lot of people eat McDonald's their whole life and make it to 90. Yeah. You yeah. know? So it's like... Genetics, people, they, genetics plays a big you, role in health. You know they they don't just hand that that surgery out, right? No, no, yeah. You have to you have to pass physicals before. But also, what they do is they go, "We're gonna put you on this strict diet. If you start losing weight, we're not giving you the surgery." Yeah, and it's like they give you like two different options, and if your body, you know, doesn't work with what they give you, then they go, "All right, 
we're going to give you the, ga- the gastric because your body's not responding to this. But if it does, like, yo, you're just being lazy. Yeah. You know, like, I'll fucking lose some weight, bro. Not, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cosmetics is the only surgery they hand out. Yeah. But, but yo, um, you ever heard of C.T. Fletcher? Yeah. So when me and Cruz was working out, you know, hard, I was the Bible. That's the that's the yeah. Bible right there. He's the OG. And one of the things that he said that always stuck with me that that I kind of knew, but it didn't hit me until he said it was your body is your personal trainer. When you're doing something and your body's responding to it in a good way, keep doing it. Yep. If it's if it's responding in a bad way, stop doing it. So if you're doing a, cer- a lift a certain way. And it's like, yo, this don't feel right. Stop doing it. Even if you're doing it wrong, like to something like we had this OG in the gym. He was brawling. And I would have to do my back rows a certain way because I had two shoulder surgeries. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, you, you're doing it wrong. You got to do it this way. And I told him, I said, I got two shoulder surgeries. I have to compensate for my shoulders. I can't rotate my shoulders a certain way, until, you know, because then I'll hear pops and shit. And he didn't want to hear it. I'm like, yo, bro, stop fucking talking to me. Yeah. Like I had, I had to like stop fucking talking, to me. and I just did it. I just did it my way. But it's like people don't realize that like, I've taken multivitamins. Like he's seen it. I take eight, nine vitamins a day. Just like yo, I want to try to get healthier. I'm taking the vitamin D because I had a deficiency when I took you know the thing. I had some uh, vitamin uh, vitamin E for my liver. You know D12 for some other shit. I'm taking all this stuff, and I'm sitting there. I'm going, all right. It's been six weeks. I don't feel any different. Like, I've noticed when I drank massive amount of water that I sweat. I started sweating a lot. And I was like, but this sweat is like a, like almost like a clean sweat. Mm-hmm. And it was one of those things like, okay, I can see the difference. Because when I drink nothing but soda, when I sweat, it dries up quick. This mm-hmm. was staying here with me. So it was like, all right, I see the difference that it's doing on my body, the, the water. But then again, then I, you know, I started getting the, 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 the acid reflux and the and all other shit. It was, I was drinking too much of it when I was doing it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's why, fuck what everybody else says. Try it. If it doesn't work for you, then do something else. Like, your body will tell you what it is. Like Something, you know, I, some, something that I work on is that, is like advice. So like, people have a natural reaction to give advice. You know, yeah. especially if you are in a situation where you understand what this person is going through or trying to do. Something I'm trying to do is to stop with the advice. First of all, if you don't ask me for advice, just I'm not, you know, I'm really trying not to do nothing. So it's like when you're like, when you're like sick, right? Yeah. You get sick and someone's like, you know, you, you, you need, you know, breast milk right. from a Cambodian immigrant. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, well, you know, I read a few websites Internet again, obviously, the internet isn't the best source of material, but the Cambodian breast milk, you probably read that from the internet too. So, like, if WebMD, if this and this and this, if there's like a whole bunch of people saying that this one home remedy works, it's like, I've been doing this and it's fine though. Oh, that's just whack. I mean, well, okay, you can keep drinking the Cambodian breast milk. Do your thing. Yeah. But I'm just going to do this over here. The one thing I n- never do. <laughs> 